My name is David O'Sullivan. The London Bus Rank and File Committee sends greetings to the courageous Maharashtra State Road Transport Corporation bus workers in Maharashtra, India. More than 70,000 bus drivers, ticket collectors, mechanics and support staff have been on indefinite strike since November the 4th, 2021. The workers have defied threats from of mass sackings and have defied court orders declaring their strike illegal. They are defying government threats to invoke emergency laws for the mass arrests and jailing of strikers. And they have defied their own union, which has ordered them from the outset to abide by the court ruling declaring their strike illegal. Maharashtra bus workers are an inspiration to every worker everywhere. They are fighting plans to privatise the bus services and are demanding state government control to improve pay, benefits and job security. The battle in Maharashtra has global significance. Its background is the COVID-19 pandemic. Up to 4.7 million excess deaths were recorded in India between January 2020 and June 2021. The British government's herd immunity agenda contributed to this social holocaust, allowing the virus to spread freely from the UK to India. Boris Johnson's declaration, no more lockdowns, let the bodies pile high, was made a reality. As ho hospitals across India ran out of oxygen and the world watched in horror as Indian families struggled to bury their dead. During the pandemic, Maharashtra bus workers were treated like cattle. They went for weeks and even months without pay. They were forced to work without protection. And by August of the year, more than 300 bus workers were dead of COVID-19. Still, the state refused to prioritise their vaccinations. Maharashtra bus workers are paid between 12,000 and 27,000 rupees. That is 163 to 100 to 360 American dollars. They are in a direct fight with the Maharashtra state government a coalition that includes the Big Business Congress Party. Behind it stands the Mahudi BJP government. It is presiding over wholesale privatisation, mass sackings and wage cut cutting. A pandemic of joblessness and hunger. Brothers and sisters of Maharashtra, your determined resistance is part of a new global struggle of the working class. In London, we are facing the most savage cuts in history in the city's transportation services. The Johnson government has seized on the collapse of fares revenue during the pandemic to demand billions in cuts in fare increases, the gutting of pensions and asset stripping. There is no money for transport workers, but the bus and rail companies and their shareholders have received billions. Workers in Britain are facing the biggest cost of living squeeze in decades a resurgent pandemic and the war in Europe. The striker in Maharashtra underscores a central challenge that confronts workers all over the world. As one of the workers in Pune told the World Socialist website, and I quote, we are striking without a union. Our unions are not with us. They have already betrayed the strike by reaching agreements with the management, unquote. In Maharashtra, the unions and the left parties are isolating the strike and suppressing news of the heroic struggle. In Britain, as in India, the trade unions are industrial police, suppressing strikes, defending profits over workers' lives. I know this from first hand. I was sacked with the assistance of Unite the Union after I called for safety protection for my colleagues during the pandemic and I'm still fighting to protect my job. Your strike can and must be the spearhead for a broader offensive by the entire working class against the Modi government. The Modi government's programme of austerity, privatisation, Hindu nationalism and war. Workers must create new organisations, rank and file committees that oppose the subordination of workers' livelihoods to corporate profit and link the struggles together with the struggles of workers across India internationally. The first task of the Maharashtra Bus Workers Rank and File Committee will be to break the union imposed isolation of the strike, appealing to workers from the tens of millions of workers across India, including the Mumbai Electricity, 
transport and port workers, also battling privatisation and contract labour. The London Bus Rank and File Committee, the International Workers Alliance of Rank and File Committees and the World Socialist website will do everything in our power to promote awareness of your courageous struggle and expand influence throughout the world. Your fight is our fight. Thank you.